Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. This is Chainsaw Valley. This is a new mod map out uh, on Farming Simulator 22. This is by FSG Modding, FSG Davar. It is 70.72 megabytes to download, and it's not at all what I was expecting. Looking at the, the kind of the map of it on the uh, screenshots on the website. Um, I, I kind of thought it was just going to—it was just going to be all forestry. I knew there was going to be some fields. I wasn't expecting all the traffic. Um, that being said, there's a lot of wilderness. And when I say wilderness, I mean like proper wilderness. This is a nice blend between the ability to come on here, do farming, with all the production chains, all the stuff like that. You can run a load of that because either side of the rivers, you've got these kind of nice, fertile, flat sort of areas which are going to work out really well where most of the fields are located but then you've got the logging side of things if you want to do logging you don't have to there are various different mulches and tree removal devices and things you can just clear past if you want to um, the map looks like this and we start up here I'm on new farmer for the map tour and on new farmer you start with this plot here with 23 and 14 come back out again we have a farmhouse we have a water tank and we have a silo just down there uh, on farm manager and start from scratch so I'm, I'm on new farmer on farm manager and start from scratch you don't start with the farmhouse you don't have the water tank and you don't have the silo you don't have any of the vehicles either um, we're not going to go right out into the wilds because there are no cell points or anything out there there are 23 fields in total and as you can see they kind of follow the rivers and they're not very expensive either to buy the fields what's that one 77 65 we've got some fairly small ones here oh that's the whole plot there 49 28 31 so you can kind of gradually build up the fields but then as you start to clear you can then work out if you want to do more fields and plow stuff out or you can do a mix of both which i think is absolutely fantastic actually the plots for forestry though are a bit more pricey but then you would think so as well um, that one, for example, is 380 grand. It's not a very big plot. Um, what's that one? 117. There are, some, again, some small ones you can gradually build up until you get to the big plots like that for 1.2 million, 1.355, 1.228. You know, there's, there's some, some big old plots. So this is one where you're going to have to really forge a path because there are no tracks there's no other than the main roadways and there's a couple of dirt tracks that lead up alongside the rivers there are no tracks and pathways and forest um like forestry areas already set out you've really got to forge a path into the wilderness to do the logging which i think's great it's a really nice you know um nice change we had a load of logging maps in FS19. Some were like that, some weren't. It depends what kind of floats your boat, really. So, sleep trigger is here. And like I say, you don't start with that on farm manager or start from scratch. The slot count on new farmer is 709, which is amazing. Out of 2,749 or 5,155, depending on what platform you're playing on. Um, on farm manager and start from scratch, that comes down to 621 without the vehicles, without the farmhouse, and without the silo. These buildings, there's a couple of buildings here, can also be sold, which I tried that as well, and I got the slot count down to 608, which I think, for starting on a map like this, especially with all the stuff that's now available in FS22, is pretty cool. Um, in these buildings here, we've got some of our start equipment. This seems to be the start harvester of choice at the moment, the top liner. Uh, we've got a couple of John Deere's, 7810, 4755, we've got Cultivator, Cedar, um, then we have got a header and header trailer, just tucked on the side here, and then we've got a trailer and we've got a Massey Ferguson in the barn over there, which we're going to have a look at, which is also where the silo is. I'm not sure if the silo has anything in it. Uh, while we're looking at that, I don't think it does. No, they're all saying zero. There are some, I say, cell points missing, as you can see, uh, where are we? Things like grapes, olives, a lot of the production chain stuff, there aren't sell points for. Uh, so things like sugar beet cut and a lot of the newer stuff as we go down. So if you want sell points for those, if you start doing production chains, you're going to need to put the production chain sell points in as well 
if you want to go down that route. There aren't any sell points as well here. Hay there is, but things like straw and silage, there aren't. There's no biogas plant either. Uh, contracts are available. There are a few baling contracts and things available. Um, there's no custom mods that I could tell, that I could see. I had a look through um, on the build mode and I couldn't see anything that had been added in. I couldn't see anything added in on the vehicles either. Um, a couple of really nice little features I saw as I was driving around having a quick scan. There's your water point there, right by the river. There's a boat, or a couple of boats, and there's like logs that float down the river as well. Really nice little feature I've never seen before. Oh, we can just see one through there. See if we can see it. Look, there's a boat sort of going at different speeds, but you get these logs every now and again drifting down the river. Nice bit of visual interest, I like that. Um, so, the other barn here, We've got a massive Ferguson and we've got the trailer tucked away here. And we've got the silo here. I think it's an Unia 400 or is it the 600? That's a very good point. So let's go to build mode. Go to demolish and click on it and it will tell us. It's the uh, Farmer 400. There we go. If you wanted to sell it. But like I say, you don't start with that on Farm Manager or start from scratch. Now, I'm going to do a route round, and it, like I said, it pretty much follows the river, or the rivers, um, because of the way the sail points are. We're going to go up and across the bridge here, follow around here. Um, there's loads to explore um, all out. There are collectibles on the map as well. There are 100 collectibles to find, and they are scattered across the map. Um, and when we go out towards the sawmill later on, there's a bridge out there that's actually not showing on the map. Um, but this actually, when I did the mod review today, we've had this, the um, a couple of bridge packs come out recently, or three actually now. Um, one from Jim, one from Sandhill Modding, and the one that came out today uh, was it was actually a logging one, a forestry one. Um, what was it called? The Forestry Bridge Pack by Ola Haldor. And there are certain areas on the map which I think it would work really well for putting in bridges if you wanted to give yourself some extra routes. Now some of these are obviously way too big. You're not going to get bridges across these things. Oh, there's some more logs drifting by. Now if you don't want your um, sleep trigger where it is, there are lots of little houses and things dotted around. You can see the, part, the fields. There is no shortage of logging. <laughs> you won't have to worry what, at all. Um, bottom left, for some reason I've noticed on my map, I don't know what's happened, but my the pointer showing where I am has vanished. I don't know what's happened. If I go onto the map, look, look, it's not showing where I am at the moment. I'm over here somewhere, and I've, I've gone across all the settings, and I can't find it. I'm really puzzled. Anyway, um, gas station, just here. And then continuing. Oh. <laughs> Probably want to watch where I'm going. So I say, there's lots of little buildings like this, and if you wanted to just sleep trigger you want to start somewhere else, you might want to work for a logging company or something first, or you want to start with farming first, or, you know, it, there's plenty of scope for that on this map, which I think is great as well. I like the fact that you've been given these flatter areas, little floodplains just to the side, so there is a bit of room to put new fields in, to put placeables if you clear the land a little bit, before we start getting into the steeper terrain. Let it go past. So as we come around the bend, we will come to the main machinery store, which is also the reset point. If you need to reset anything, it will reset back here at the machinery store. So the machinery store tucked away in here. Just over there is the trigger. We have a workshop trigger over here by these buildings. Like I say, the reset is over here. Nice big open expanse, plenty of room for getting machinery in and out. Fire station, I think. Fire department. Probably very useful in a wooded area. There we go. So there is a track. Well, there's a couple of tracks actually. One this side, there, and one the other side. That lead, the traffic is a bit mad, I have to say. But that lead up and follow that tributary with a few more houses and cabins and things like that again if you want to change where you sleep triggers. The livestock market is just here. <laughs> the traffic is bonkers. There we go.
a little bit like um, Calm Lands that we got the other day. It's it's not a completely blank canvas, but it's a real do-it-yourself kind of map. You know, build it up. Well, I like that. So I'm going to cross back over the river here. Follow back up around towards the farm again, and then we can head out towards the sawmill. We've got um, Johnson's Farms Market, I think, next. Where are we? Yep, Johnson's Farmers Market coming up. And we've got a bit of a drive because. This is a bit difficult to show now, isn't it? So we crossed over there and we followed all the way around past here. Gas station, machinery store, fire station, livestock market, crossed over the bridge. We've come back round past here, um, Johnson's Farmer's Market. And we're going to swing all the way around here, back up to the bridge where the farm, our sort of start farm is. And we're going to follow this track all the way down here to the sawmill. It's just up here, actually. There's a bridge that's not showing on the map so if you're wondering how you're supposed to get to this bit here if you buy it there is a bridge there is access and um, we will get to that in a little while i think this is even i'm trying to think what was the map called was it crater lake no which one was it there was one that we had that you had a few cell points and things but there were no roads between them and that was another one you had to really forge a path through to get to them Holmerkra had one as well, you had to clear out a little bit to get from point to point. Um, yeah, so if you like if you like your forestry, you're gonna love it. Um, but there is that you know, there is that farming element still here. Some maps are just completely they are logging. Um, and that's not everyone's cup of tea, but this is a nice balance between the two, I think. Right, so let's cross over here. The colour palette seems to work really nicely the lighting seems to be nice as well um, we're not getting into the shadows here and it's too dark it all you know seems to be a nice balance between it all I think some of these areas of woodland are going to be for doing forestry they're going to be a little bit trickier than some maps I mean there's some terrace kind of bits here but I think for getting vehicles and machinery in and out and yeah, it's, not, it's not going to be straightforward I think there's going to be a lot of landscaping involved if you if you want to go down that route but yeah it's nice so the sawmill way station on the way in now the sawmill is part of the sort of production chain system, so you can buy it. It's a hundred thousand if you want to buy it. Um, so you've got your lumber in there, you've got the buy point there for your production chains if you want to, um, and then you've got your wood chips out just there because that's the byproduct as well as planks if you do the sawmill. If you don't just use it as a sell point, if you follow this track out from here, this is a little bit tricky because it sort of stops here. There's the field. I'll go try and skirt around it but the bridge I was talking about I did wonder if it was on the edge of the map and you couldn't actually get to it but you can there we go just out here and short of you know going into so place, uh, placeable okay, there you go collectible um, I mean, short of going in and showing you every woodland, and like I said, because there are no tracks, there, because there are no pathways and things to follow. Um, oh, there's this one here. I wonder where that goes up to, whether that's a high point. You know what? Bear with me. I want to check that out because I missed that. The rest of them are fine, but I don't think we've got any others anywhere else. No. Right. I'm going to whisk back over there. See you in a minute. We'll climb up there. I assume it goes up to us a summit of some description or it might just take us to a small cabin in the woods who knows but it's worth a quick look before we finish up let's see where this goes
was surprising because we've, we've got the deer have been on all the maps we've had so far but it seems to I don't fit is the right yeah it seems to fit it seems to work better on a forested map like this the sun is seen them running out of the woodland you know Certainly gaining some elevation. Okay, picnic area up the top. Ah, it's a fire tower, watchtower. Whoa. Does that seem a lot higher than the one on um, Elm Creek to you? Watch me fall down now. Make an absolute hash of this. Let's see what we can see from the top, shall we? Let's see if there's any collectibles up here. Probably. I'm glad we took the drive out to have a look. Certainly worth it. Oh, nearly there. Now is not the time to make a mistake. Wow, okay. That's some viewpoint. Blimey. That's cool. Very cool indeed. So there we have it. That's the map. This is the map. Chainsaw Valley by FSG Modding and FSG Davar. Hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>